In this video, we're going to be learning the basics of making a VR game using the Google VR SDK. And I'm going to show you how I used it to make my first virtual reality game that looked something like this. So yeah, if that's something that interests you, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to make a create a new scene. So make sure it's set to 3D and let's give it a name. So I'll just call it uh, GVR tutorial. And before we create it, make sure that you are using 2019.1 or later. So yeah, let's hit create. All right, so once the project is created, the first thing we need to do is go to file and build settings. And we will need to change the target platform to Android. So click on this and hit switch platform. All right, so it's going to take a while. So let's wait here and it's done. All right, so now that we have switched the platform to Android, we need to make sure that we have the Android build support for the particular version of Unity that you're using. So if I go to Unity Hub, so I'm using 2019.1 and I already have the Android build support. If you don't just click on these three dots here, add modules and here you can just install the Android build support for that particular version of Unity that you're using. I already have it. If you don't just go ahead and do that. Let's go back now. All right. So once we have the project ready, we can just go ahead and download the Google VR SDK. Make sure you install the latest version or the version that I'm using. And here they'll tell you the changes they have made recently. So it says 2019.3, so it will work for 2019.3 as well. So if you're using that, it should work just fine. And I'll just leave the link in the description. So go ahead and download it. Just click on this, just scroll down a bit and download this Unity package here. I have already downloaded it. So let's double click to open it up inside of your project. It will take a while. So here is everything that comes with the package. So let's just go ahead and hit import. All right, let's wait for everything to import. Okay, so once it's done, we will need to go to the build settings and open up the player settings. Let's maximize this and we need to make a couple of changes here. So if we go down, to the XR settings so let's open this up and we need to we need to make sure that the virtual reality support is is checked and if we go down here we need to add the cardboard let's wait for it to load and it also shows up this warning here so we need to remove the Vulcan in the other settings all right so let's go to other settings And here we need to go to the graphics APIs and click on Vulcan and remove this. Alright, so now that it's done, we basically need to make a couple more changes in order for us to build the game. So let's set the company name to anything you like. I'll just call it Game Guy. And also we need to change the package name here. So, so the Game Guy and for the the product name GVR tutorial and also we need to change the minimum minimum API level to 19 let's open this up and here we go so API 19 and that's pretty much all we need to do here so let's minimize this and get rid of the window now we are ready to use the Google VR so first thing we need to do is go to the demo scenes so demo scenes and here are a bunch of demo scenes that we can use. So let's open up the Hello VR because we are beginners, right? So let's open up Hello VR and this is how it looks. If we hold the Alt key and move our mouse, we can actually see what's going on inside of the level. So this is the equivalent of moving your headset around, right? And here you can see the pointer reacts when we focus on these uh, objects here. So let's try to click on them and they disappear and appear somewhere else. So that's how this scene actually works, right? 
and if we hold on to the uh, control key and try to move our mouse we can actually tilt the camera rotation all right so yeah that's basically how the scene works so the main components that we are going to need in order to make our own vr game is the gvr event system so this basically uh, handles all the events that take place in the game right like clicking on these uh, 3d objects if we just look at one of them and let's go down a bit they will have this event trigger right so yeah here you can see they have this event triggers so if we click on them they disappear and appear somewhere else which wouldn't be possible uh, without this event system so you need to have this in order to interact with the environment so the next thing is the editor emulator so here you can see all the camera controls editor emulator is responsible for all the controls here last but not the least we also need to have the camera reticle or the pointer so if we go if we find the player here it is it will have the main camera as child and if we open up the main camera we can see the gvr reticle pointer here so that's the pointer that we can see when we play the game and there are a bunch of settings that we can tweak around like the material here the color and the diameter of the pointer so if we just change the color uh, make it like red and now if we try to play the game you can see the color changes and it's now red you can do a bunch of stuff with this radical pointer you can change the diameter if you want so yeah you can tweak it around if you want to and that's basically all the components that we need in order to make a basic VR game. So let's just start from a new scene. Let's just open up the uh, sample scene here. As you can see the scene is completely empty. So let's try to make a basic VR game. So the first thing we need to do is to create a player. Let's create an empty game object, call it player. Make sure the position is set to 000. And place the camera as a child of the player and reset the position so it is at the same position as our player all right and now we also need to create a basic ground so let's clear the plan move it down a bit and apply the material onto the ground and let's make it um, green like grass or something also let's also let's change the size to make it a little bigger I'll just go ahead and make some changes to our material so no smoothness and I don't want any kind of reflections on it alright so now that we have created the ground and we have our camera on the ground the next thing we need to do is create a cube let's change the position of the cube place it somewhere around here also let's change the skybox to a solid color something like this looks good so the scene is basically ready and if we try to play nothing really happens so we need to set up the VR controls and interactions for this so the first thing we are going to add is the event system so let's search for GVR event and and let's drag and drop this GVR event system prefab into the scene. And the next thing we need is the GVR emulator. So let's type in emulator and drag and drop this inside of the scene. Awesome. So with these two, we can already play the game and look around our scene. Let's try it out. As you can see, if we hold on to Alt, we can look around and we can tilt the camera but we cannot actually interact with anything and we don't actually see a pointer so let's go ahead and do that right now so the first thing we need is the pointer so let's go to the player main camera and here we need to add the point reticle pointer so search for reticle and here it is gvr reticle pointer let's drag and drop this inside of the camera so as you can see now we have the radical pointer here 
And in order for this to work, we also need to add the GVR pointer physics raycaster to the camera and not the graphics raycaster. Make sure you get this right. All right, so here we go. Leave everything as is and now we can just play the game. Actually, let's first change the color of the reticle to something more dark. Let's hit play. As you can see, we have got our pointer in the scene. And it still doesn't interact with the cube or anything else in the scene. So where are we wrong? We haven't actually added the event triggers to on the cube. So we can't actually interact with it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So click on the cube and let's go down, add component and type in event triggers. So let's add an event trigger. So it will, the first one will be the pointer down. We also need to add another one and that will be the pointer up. When we press the button and when we release it. And now in order for this to work, we also need to create a new script. So let's create a cube script, call it whatever you want. So this will take care of the basic interaction with the cube. So yeah, let's open this up. And the first thing we need to do is make a boolean. So it will keep track if the mouse button is pressed or not. So let's set it to false. So we don't actually need the start method here. Let's get rid of it. Let's make a public void for when we press the button. So let's call it clicked for now. Actually, let's call it pressed. And also let's just duplicate this and change it to released. So now when we uh, press the button, we will set the is pressed is equal to true. When we release the button, we will set the is pressed equals to false. Alright, and now inside of the update method, we will check if the button is pressed. So while it's pressed, we will change the rotation. So we will rotate the cube. So transform.rotate and rotate around the y so transform vector 3 dot up you could do transform dot up if that's you want multiply it by let's make a public float that we can control so public float and we'll make it rotation speed let's multiply this with the rotation speed and also time dot delta time to make it independent of the frame rate all right, let's save this and head back inside of Unity. Let's set things up. So firstly, let's set the rotation speed to like 60 and drag and drop this inside us. For the pressed, we will go to the cube strip and click on pressed. And for the pointer up, we will select the released. All right, and now we can just go ahead and play the game. As you can see, the pointer reacts when we uh, focus on the cube. And if we try to click on this, it will start moving. And indeed it does. So as long as it's pressed, it will, it will keep rotating. And as soon as I leave this, it stops. So yeah, it works. We can do a lot of things like we can uh, change the color. So let's go back to the script. And in order to change the color on our cube, we can just uh, get the renderer component. So renderer and material color and we will change this to whatever color you want. So maybe yellow. So we'll change it to yellow when we press it and change it back to white when we leave it. Awesome, so yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you can do here. Let's go back, try this out now. All right. And let's click on this and it changes color and it starts rotating. And as soon as we leave it, it stops rotating and changes color back to white. Awesome. So yeah, that's the basics of the Google VR and that's how it works. So you can do a lot of things with Google VR. So let me just show you what I did with my project here. 
So this is the first project that I made using the uh, Google VR. So it's a VR classroom where you are sitting in a classroom and with seats and everything. As you can see here, the, uh, these are these are empty for now because you, you need to take a test to join the other classmates, right? So if we focus on it for two seconds, it will take us to the next scene. So here is your teacher and today is the quiz day. You can exit class and these are your classmates here. They are talking and doing random stuff. And here is your best friend, I assume. So yeah, let's try to answer the question. So who invented web? Well, it's basically the basics of computer. And if you answer it right, they will start clapping for you, which is kind of nice of them, I guess. So web address, if you get it wrong. So let's get it wrong. And which one is the largest? So let's get it wrong. And, and if you get the question wrong, the, the other student will uh, raise the hand to answer the question. And you can also leave the class if you want. Let's not do that right now. Let's answer it one more time and the uh, score also updates. So they start clapping. Yeah, so I've answered two questions. So let's answer three of them. And here, as you can see in front of them, your score updates when you answer it right. Let's exit the classroom now. We are basically done. We are back to the menu scene. Also, if you want this project, I will leave the link in the description so you can get it from my Patreon page if you want to. Right, so that's basically it. So now what's left is for you to build the game and try it on your Android devices. And also, if you want to learn more about the uh, VR games, you can check out Vellum's channel on YouTube, uh, which is totally dedicated to making VR games in Unity. From basic to advanced, he covers everything. So yeah, make sure you check it out. And that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.